Hey everyone, welcome to a new texturing tutorial. In this case, I will explain you how to edit vanilla textures to have custom armors. I will repeat it again. We are going to edit vanilla textures. So we are not going to add custom armors. We are going to edit textures that are in the vanilla to make them look as custom. So we are going to create custom armors, yes. But we are not going to add custom armors to the game. We're going to edit the stuff that is already there, there to create custom armors. If you want to add new armors without editing the current ones that are inside Minecraft, this is not your place, okay? I am repeating it. This is not your place. You can use, for example, Optifine or Texturing to create to add new armors. So, how this method will work? Well, it only works on the last version 1.20 where the trims were aided. We're going to edit the trims to make them look as custom armors. So, we can even create custom trims. I will I will show you later. So, okay. Let's see how this works. I already explained it in the last videos how to take a look at the default files of texture pack. So let's go there. Let's go to versions, the versions that we want to edit, or better to take a look how how this works. I'm um, perfect. Okay. We go to Minecraft and we can think of two things. If we are working with texture packs and we have some knowledge, some experience, we instantly think on two things on two things. The model and the texture. By the way, I will say this because this tutorial may be quite long. This is for you to understand. I make videos because I want the people to understand. If you just want the steps quickly, fast steps, take a look at the description where you will have the steps immediately without many explanation. Okay, so if you are working with texture packs, the first thing you think is the model and the texture. Let's go to the model. Models, item, and for example, sorry, the diamond, diamond trim. Anyway, anything. Okay, diamond leggings, red some trim. Let's open it, and we can see it has two layer of textures. The base one, that is the normal diamond legging, and the layer one, that is on top of the layer zero, that is the trim. So, what can we understand from this? We can understand that the base of the texture is the diamond one and on top of it, I mean, the external one is the trim. So, if we edit the trim in a way it uses the same shape as the armor, we can hide the base, I mean the diamond leggings, and only show the trim that will be a new armor. So it looks like you have a new armor and the diamond leggings is hidden. That is what are we going to do. We are not going to change how the model works. It works in a way it's useful for us. We can change just the trim and make it look a custom armor. So the model doesn't work for us because it's, it's already perfect. Let's go to textures, trims, models, armor, and here we have all the textures. As you can see, they work like on couples, wild and wild leggings, wayfinder and wayfinder leggings. Wayfinder, I mean the one that doesn't have leggings on the name, has the helmet, chest plate and boots. And the leggings ones has <laughs> the leggings. So. How are we going to add new custom armors? Well, you can use some applications or some external sources. I will tell you just to use Nova Skin. If we go here, resource packs, armor, 
we can see we have the two necessary one. I will edit the diamond layer. You can come here, paint the stuff that you want. You can download the file, for example, save. Download the file. And you can open it using Photoshop, edit it using Paint, for example, as you want. The edit part is, is your job. You can you have to make it look as you want or as your custom armor would like to to be. I already made one. I it's not a big thing. I only painted it pink. And you can see it's right here. It's pink, it's the same diamond leggings, the diamond armor, but pink and purple. And that's the only thing. Now we have to choose what trim are we going to override. In this case, I choose the wild and white leggings. If we want to change the tide, okay, perfect. Let's change this to tide and these two tied leggings that's it and as i said important word what trim are we going to override that means the trim we are overriding will not exist anymore and that's the, an important part so we have the textures. Now let's create our texture pack. Normally, you only have to create your texture pack to this path. And probably, oops, sorry. And probably I already created. Resource pack, yeah. New armor textures, assets, Minecraft, textures, dreams, models, armor. And it's the same path we are here but we're going to add the textures we want to override. And that's it. Let's enter here. Let's put the texture back. Okay. It's already there. I will reload it. And um, okay. What was the name of the trim? Tide. Okay. Tide. Let's get a smithing table. Let's get the armor and um, a color. This is important. We are overriding how the trim works. So for example, I will pick redstone and lapis lazuli and you will see the result is the same. So let's open this and the redstone. Okay. But with lapis lazuli, it has the same color because we are overriding how the trim works. So yeah, and the boots. And it works perfect. You can see that the armor is pink and the leggings is purple. That's it, how this method works. The problem right now, tied armor trim doesn't exist anymore this is useful for your servers that i don't know don't work with vanilla stuff maybe some custom servers where trims are not allowed to to get picked by by normal players so you can just create these new custom armors and that's it now just in case you want how to get How to get custom trims. Sorry for the white space. To create custom trims is the same thing we just did, but the letting or painting empty, the, yeah, the letting parts of the armor body. If we do that, we are going to be able to paint trims. Let's do something. Past. I will just delete a lot of stuff here. I will paint orange here. And that's it. Just, just to show you this works. Let's download this. And okay. Let's put it 
on our texture pack. I only edited the the helmet, chest plate, and boots. Yes. And it was added perfect. And let's reload. So I can show you the parts that we deleted. Now we have the diamond chest plate below and some orange parts that's it i don't know if you understood that was very quickly just it's because it's 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 a step very quick just edit it as you want if you for example want your armor to be able to to see through you can just come here or using photoshop i don't know and delete this part if you delete all these for example i will delete these and paint around green so you can see that inside the player should have the diamond normal texture let's save this save here it will be called tide you can <laughs> add more trims you can for example call it snow silence as you want i am only with i am only working with tide because i don't know i just choose it let's reload and normally we have this and on the painting this is empty so we are looking at inside the layer zero of the texture as we took a look at the model it has layer zero the base and then the trim for example i want i want you to look at this if we pick the netherite chest plate we will be able to see that on the middle part is black but on the on the another part is looking like diamond chest plate and for example on the on the swing of the arms you can see it has netherite and it may look boogie because the trim that we just added some parts are not covering the netherite chest plate that's why it looks like boogie we have to paint it if we if we want custom armors we have to paint it all the possible parts that the normal armor may, may be so we hide so we hide all the armor and not left some parts that are not hidden and why do i have the diamond chest plate here because the painting has a diamond chest plate why if I get here, I see the netherite armor here and not the diamond one. Well, because we put a, a hole here. And that's it. You can. Uh, what I want you to understand is that the trims is just an armor texture that is above the normal armor texture. So without changing the vanilla textures for armors i mean the diamond netherite iron etc you can change the trims that works above those textures and that's the idea for the method i hope you understood i hope you like it i what i want you to really do is to understand if you just want the steps take a look at the description normally you will have the steps and not many explanation but if you really understood well i am happy because that uh, that is what i want you to to say that's it i hope you like it um if you have any question feel free to ask see you